Well, hello everyone. We're going to finish the pink flower today. So this will be our last video. Let's begin. I have pulled out a few brushes. I've got the Aqua Elite Flat. This is an inch, I believe, three quarters of an inch. These are two Winsor Newton Scepter Gold Series 2 brushes. One is an old one and one is a new one. And I'll just bet you can guess which is which. I do keep the older brushes and I'll tell you why. Um, it's just nice to be able to brush and move things around on the painting surface. I really like that. So I'm not upset when the point goes missing. I have two more Aqua Elite brushes. This, Both of them are rounds. This is what is called a long round. Look at the point. Let me put it where you can see it. Look at the point on that. It's like a needle. And this, of course, is just a, um, a number eight round. So let's begin. I have also mixed up some paint for us. I'm beginning with the Aqua Elite. This is number eight. It is around. And I'm going to just finish up over here where I can with some of those darker darks. The darker darks have really become my roadmap for working on the painting. And for anybody following along, you already know then that it's just been very easy to get lost in this painting. Even so, I'm not quite sure if I have found my way in. Just right there, I can see what happened. All right, let's keep going. I'm working very cool. This is the um, Crimson Lake. And it's Cobalt Blue and Crimson Lake mixed together right next to this quinacridum coral and vermilion. So remember, we did talk about that push and pull, that tugging that would happen between the two reds, the cool red and the warm red. Warm red being the vermilion, cool red being the crimson lake. So it took me a minute to find exactly where I am in the painting. And if you've gotten lost, just know that it's rather normal, <laughs> in my opinion. For something like this to have gotten lost. I will tell you what you just saw me do, which is to make a little puddle of water and then drop the paint in. I really like painting that way. Going in light, 
identifying the work and where I want to go and then dropping in some darker color because I have a puddle. There are some wonderful shapes, and I'm just noticing this one right here. Don't miss the shapes, enjoy them. Some of the shapes won't make a lick of sense, but if you just paint what you see, You'll see how it all comes together in the end. I also think we've talked about how the more you look, the more you see. So just know that that's part of the wonderful process of painting. There are some lovely places to put some wonderful texture. Colors really are quite juicy, aren't they? Sometimes you just <laughs> you just kind of want to gobble them up. They're so delicious. And I really am just hopping from one thing to another. Until I finish the painting. You know, some people start in the right corner and just move to the left and down the page. I, I don't do that. But I'm also willing to say I don't think there's a right and a wrong way to attack a painting.
almost got lost right there. So I'm really now where I can putting in the blue to really shore up some of those darkest darks. paper is wet enough for it to just move right into those little puddles. I really do think squinting is a good exercise because it does allow you to see your values without seeing the color. The other thing is, is you move into the painting and the colors are just getting darker and darker you realize you don't need a lot of color on your brush because there's already a lot on the paper. And remember, you can color correct as you go. So if I've used the wrong color here, I can come back. right in here. I did get a little too warm and it needs to be darker and cooler. And this is the all ultramarine blue mixed with the crimson lake. Now you can spend quite a bit of time at the end of a painting, combining values, colors, checking on temp color temperatures. We're not gonna have all that time today, but we are going to finish the painting.
once again, if you forget, it's a flower and you just paint the shapes. It's so helpful. So you can see it's getting a little cooler in temperature. We want to bring the eye into the center. Okay, moving toward the center. So you can see that this takes a little study, time, effort, and a lot of enjoyment. Some people <laughs> like to get into a painting and stay for six months. You know, I really can be one of those people because this is so enjoyable. Just studying the colors, the values, really trying to paint what I see. It's a challenge and it's really enjoyable. You can always go back. You can always fix something.
lift something out. And there is some green. Let's get those greens. Let's nail them down. When you mix the green with the red, you get the neutral, you get the complement. That's a good thing. Remember, this is our interpretation of the photo. Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. I think I have the green the way I want it. So, so you can see this needs to be pink. So what I'm going to do next is take a bigger brush. I'm going to uh, I, I just have this as a mixing brush. I don't even know what it is anymore. The point is all gone, but it does allow for me to mix up large areas of paint. And now I'm just going to, where I can, paint over top and, and uh, hopefully bring up some of the light. So it's an, a yellow orange, so it's bright. I am color co correcting. say, well, why did you put that there? Well, watch what happens after I get it down. So taking some of the Crimson Lake,
I'm framing it in. I don't know if this will work. This is a little bit of um, opera. So there were a couple areas over here that I did miss. So these are things you can play with long after words. Pretty what happens with that opera when it touches the yellow. So some of my flowers could be a little uh, better, or the petals, petals could be better. And that's something that I can refine. What I'm going to do is take my Crimson Lake. I want to really mix it up. It's got some dry paint in there. I am using this big brush. I'm going to guess it's an 8, maybe even a 10. And I'm going to cover over. this done all 
the work that's been done here. It all shows through, doesn't it? Pretty cool the way that happens. And you're thinking, why isn't she brushing some of it off? If I were to continue to brush, I would brush it off. But I'm just putting the color down. So right here needs a little work, but for the most part, I'm pulling it all together and letting everything shine through. That's the beauty of watercolor, and that's really why we like it. It will dry a little bit lighter, and I will post the finish painting. This is my interpretation. Of the photograph voila a little more blue down in there. This is brushes falling apart as I use it. There, hopefully that brings you right into it. And this points the way. Well, I 
am going to finish right now. Um, yeah, we can add a little green in there. just add a little more green down here in the corner. This is Viridian. We're going to intensify that area. And then we're going to neutralize it over here. And even up here. This is just a little blue, isn't it? Let's see what happens. when we add just a little blue. So we talked about that corner earlier. I'm going to water down. This is, first I wanna be sure I get the pure paint. Uh, this is ultramarine blue, but I am adding a little Prussian. And I'm just going to give it brush it right into that petal. All right, everyone. I am going to call this finished. And all paintings need to be signed, right? So where should I sign it? You know it needs to be signed right there. It's a little wet. So let's try it. I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing, but we can try it. So a little green. because green is already there. Yeah, a little bit of this. It's already wet. I do, I do like to put my signature where it is a little bit damp. Let's see if this works. No, it's still too wet. Well, just pretend that it's maybe You know what? I'm going up here.
still wet. So, I don't like that. It does need to be at the bottom, right here. So let's just let that dry and we'll do it another time. Thanks everyone. The pink flower is finished.